Well, hey kids and hi families, and a welcome to Sadie and Corbin, to Emmett and Daniel, and to Connor and Brandon, to Lucas and Gabe, and to Esty, to Thomas and Rosie and Charlie, and then to Abby and Hunter, to Prairie and Ada, to Benjamin and Clara and Tobias, and then to Sam and Chloe, and to Eden and Dylan Rose, to Logan and to Molly and Natalie, and a happy birthday to Natalie, by the way, and then to Georgia and Francis. Hi to all of our kids, whether you're big or little, and for any of you that are just finding us or dropping by and visiting, thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it, and um, glad to see you. Well, hi, Auntie Jen. <laughs> Auntie Jen is oh, running. I'm running. Yeah, that's no surprise. Oh, I'm oh. going to pass the baton to you. Now oh, you it's a relay. Know. It's a relay. Hey, I like that. That's a great hint. Yep, yeah, that's so, the first a one. a relay, okay. Okay, passing yep. the baton. And you've also got a coat. Oh, it is yeah. getting cooler. It is. I'm going to... I don't suppose you'd like the, to wear my coat. Uh, I don't think it would but fit, I think Auntie Jen. You can take it in. Oh, okay. So yeah. I'm well, taking my coat. Uh -huh. That's another one. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Now, I'll put this over here. So a coat and a baton. I got my horse and my chariot. Oh, a chariot and is. And it's going up. Whoa! Into it's the flying air, right off the screen. Except I'm not quite tall. It's got like a Disney movie. Yeah. Horses yeah. that fly, huh? Yeah. Chariots, horses a baton and passing something along, mm -hmm. and a coat. Mm -hmm. Boys and girls, those That's are some great hints. Then there's two parts to this week's lesson. Okay. So that's the first story part. Okay. Now, the next part is, oh, I just I just have these spots on my face. I better wash, wash mm. them off. That's one. Hmm. Okay. I'm wash a bit. Well, washing but, off, we're, we've been learning a lot about how we need to be, you know, sanitizing and washing hands, washing yeah. your face, yeah? yeah? I'm washing spots away. But this is a part of a Bible story, eh? And okay. we're by the number again. <laughs> Brought to you by the number seven. By the number seven. Oh. So there's something with water so, and seven and maybe maybe I should wash seven times. Hmm. Five, so I think six, this is probably seven. a story within the story. It is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, we talked about a prophet by the name of Elijah last week, okay? So this is the next person who was also a prophet. Boys and girls, any ideas, families? Have you been thinking about it? Thanks, Auntie Jan. Great hints. What we're going to do is talk about the story of Elisha today. Elijah and then Elisha. So in our um, story for children, the storybook Bible, here's the story about Elisha. Now, God's message to Elisha was this. Elijah's work was done, and Elisha is now going to take his place. There's the baton, and the passing of the baton from one person to the next. And God said to Elisha, you're going to be a great prophet for me. You're going to be my voice to the people, and you're going to perform a lot of miracles in my name. And our story is Elisha, the man of miracles. When Elijah's work on earth was over, God took him to heaven in a spectacular, fiery chariot. Aha! One of our hints for today. As his friend Elisha watched, the chariot rose higher and higher and then disappeared right into the clouds. And Elisha picked up Elijah's coat. There we go. Now that my friend is gone, it's my job to be God's voice to the people. There was plenty of work for Elisha to do. People were sick, people were hungry, but God had given Elisha great power, so the prophet was able to do many miracles that helped the people. One day, there was a military commander named Naaman who came to Elisha for healing. Naaman had a skin disease that was called leprosy, and there was no medicine that could heal him. Now, Elisha told Naaman to go and wash himself in the Jordan River seven times. There we go. And if he did that, if he did it all seven times, then he would be healed. Naaman thought the idea was crazy, but his friends persuaded him to do just like Elisha had instructed him. Naaman dipped himself in the river seven times, and his skin came out just like new. This miracle convinced Naaman that the God Elisha served 
was the one true God. There's our story about Elisha. So our memory verse is the same as last week. It's 1 Kings 18, verse 39. Can we say it together? 1 Kings 18, verse 39. And it is, The Lord, He is God. Yes! yes the Lord is God. Let's say it again. Ready? The Lord, He is God. Yes! The Lord is God. Thanks, boys and girls. Okay? Here's our prayer for today. Heavenly Father, when we face life's problems, help us to be willing to follow the directions that you give to us in the Bible, your word. But we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And to Jan? Okay, so from Danielle's place, we have our crafts today. If oh, you have an old cool. cool noodle or something, you can cut it in half and use a pipe cleaner and twist it around. And then you have your chariot yeah. with Elijah going up to heaven and you can make them like that. <laughs> awesome. That's so a great that. idea. And then for the other craft, and we have... That's so cool. Oh dear, <laughs> there's poor Nam. I don't know Naaman. if you can see, yeah. see all of the spots on his face. Yeah. But we better count. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven. Seven. And then turn it in. Then there's no spots on this side. He's healed. Yes. He awesome. So and yeah, he had to do it seven times. He couldn't just do it three times or five yeah. times. He had to do it seven times. So yeah. those are your ideas for crafts. Very good. Uh, the Bible story, you can re-watch the one from last week about God's story, Elijah, yeah. but we didn't quite finish it we, in our class. We stopped it at 3.47. And then the last part is going up to heaven in the chariot. So okay. you can watch that for the first part of the lesson. And the second part for Nahum, Naaman is on, um, it's called number 42, Nam is healed. Okay. In this year. So that's the two things. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And thanks. That'll be on their website. Okay. Thanks, Auntie Jan. Um, boys and girls, Auntie Jan and Pastor Rook are going to take the month of September off. So this is our last video for a while. We'll uh, we'll do some more again starting in October. But we just hope that you stay safe and take care. We love you lots. And just like we do every time, put your hands right out in front of you. Cross them over your chest. Oh, and just give yourself a really tight squeeze. It just reminds us of how much God loves us. We love you too. So from Auntie Jan and myself, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in October. Goodbye, boys and girls. Bye, families.